Hey, it's Jay Carls. I'm back. Um, so we just finished up another boss strike, and you may be asking the question, how do I find a, a guild that that wants to work hard at the boss strikes and who wants to, to get the higher tiers uh, prizes? And I'm going to give you a few tips today for looking for the uh, perfect guild. Um, you know, one thing you can do is the guild search. Uh, if you if you're already in a guild, it's not available. But if you leave the guild, it'll show you a list of the available guilds, uh, and those are the ones that are that are public, open to the public, and you can just join by clicking on. Most of the guilds that are good are, are private guilds, uh, and many of them are are already full, but they lose a few here and there, or every once in a while the the officers will clean up the uh, the list a little bit, and then they'll be looking for people who are are who play a lot, who want to fight, and uh, who want to do well during the boss strikes. Uh, so my advice to you is uh, look at where you are. If if you're a lower rank and you uh and you don't have R6 wimps. Uh, then you're going to want to look for a more friendly guild, someone that will help you out to uh, level up your wimps, uh, someone that's not uh, going to, uh, to to be so difficult or demanding on you during the boss strikes, or else you're just going to be miserable. Uh, so I suggest until you, until you can contribute a lot uh, to your guild, uh, then just just try to find a friendly guild and, and work on leveling up your your wimps and work on leveling up your units uh, until you can uh, be a better help to them. Uh, but here, if if you do, you're already level 60, or you already have R6 wimps, and you uh, you felt like during the boss strike you did a lot of work, and you didn't feel like a lot of people were helping you out. Uh, he, here's what you do: you go and you either PVP somebody. If you don't have a bunch of friends then go do random matches and then try to fight people and when you fight them you need to click on friend uh, so that you that you have a, a bunch of friends so go to your friends list and find people who commonly come to your base and click on resources and, and get things from you and just visit them see what level they are and, and visit them and see you know see what uh, what kind of base uh, they have and see if you know, you know what level they are and then just chat with them just send them a message say hey how did your guild do in the boss strikes and they'll say and they'll let you know they say hey we did this what did you guys do uh, usually people are are pretty friendly if they ignore you then you know uh, move on uh, to another person uh, so that's one way to find out what their guild is doing then you can ask them you can say hey uh, Hey, you guys got any openings? Uh, I'm an active player and and looking to uh, to get into a guild where I can participate better. Uh, so that's uh, that's one way uh, that you can find out potential guilds that are available that are that are not available. But when you do get get into a guild and you're new to a guild, uh, look at the chat, uh, the guild chat, because you can see here someone just just ten. 15 seconds ago, someone wrote the last message, 40 seconds, 1 minute, 4 minutes. This will kind of tell you how active these guys are. And our guild is, uh, is very active. So you can, you can look on here every, every couple of minutes and you'll see 5 or 10 messages. So that's one way to know if your guild is active, not just during ball strikes, but just during, during the week. Uh, look at those things because if nobody's communicating on the guild chat, then that's that's a good indicator that a lot of people don't play very much in that guild, um, and then that probably means that uh, during the boss strikes, only maybe 10 or 15 percent of the guild is going to actually get involved and and participate. And there's just no way you're going to succeed very good, uh, very well with the with only 15 percent participation. So um, also make sure they're friendly. Uh, look at the comments and. Make sure they're not trash talking each other, or they're not being rude, because uh, that's miserable when you're in a guild where they're just uh, putting each other down. It causes fights, and then nobody wants to work uh, together, and uh, that's just 
that's just mi that's just miserable. So, um, also be upfront with them when you uh, when you do want to join a ga guild. Uh, you have to uh, when you do the search, like when when someone does say, "Hey, I'm a part of a specific guild," uh, you'll have to go up top and type in the name exactly. You have to spell it correctly and everything. Uh, before it'll pop up, and then when it pops up, it'll say, uh, you know, send a message, uh, ask, request an invite, and sometimes they'll write you back, and sometimes they'll, they may say, okay, but I want to do a, a PvP battle just to see if you, uh, see what kind of troops you have or whatever. Uh, that'll give you a good ind indication of what they're, what they're looking for. Um, but be friendly, be honest, and, uh, and, uh, you'll do, you'll find the guild, that'll do uh, do a lot better the next time. Alright guys, uh, I hope you uh, get into the guild that you want and uh, good luck uh, searching. Thanks, peace out.